It's absolutely amazing being here and just seeing the energy of the kids in these different rooms is giving me so much energy because I, I just miss how free we used to be as children. And it's quite amazing to see that that's still happening and kids still have that energy. It means that our future is in the right hands if they know how to use that energy. Um, but I'm Ayaka Melitafa and I'm a climate justice activist. Um, before we go any further, I'd like to tell you guys why I became a climate justice activist and what an activist is. So an activist is a person that goes in the community, doesn't even have to be the community, or online or sees a social ill, which is a problem in the community that they don't like, and they advocate or they make campaigns to make sure that that issue that they're seeing is being learned about, is being addressed, or the issue that they're seeing is being tackled by themselves. Um, so by being a climate justice activist, I decided to be a climate activist because my mother was a small scale farmer. Um, so we had many different animals. We had cows, sheep, cats, um, goats, um, and pigs. And we also had very beautiful veggies and fruits that were always so plump um, and very delicious. Um, and then one day I saw that the rain wasn't coming as often. And then we realized that we were in a drought. Um, and that drought was so heartbreaking to me because I saw the plants and the animals dying. And I, that was very painful for me to see. And it was very painful for my mother to see. Um, so I was very confused and I was very hurt because I had friends. I had friends that were chickens. I had my favorite cows. I had my favorite goats. So when I saw them suffering and getting thin and getting ill, um, I decided to do some research on what could be causing the drought and what was causing there not to be any rain. And that's when I learned about climate change. And from then on, I made it my mission in life to tackle climate change, but not only tackle it in a way that I go out and try to make change, I wanna educate other people on climate change because what's happening in the world right now is very scary. And what we need to understand that there's still so much hope that we need to have. And there's so many things that we can still do, but it all starts with you young people right there. I've always loved nature from my young age and I've always had good teachers to instill in me the right morals and the right discipline to make sure that I um, reach my dreams. So what I'd like to say to you guys on the screen today is that any idea that you have, be it to do with nature, be it to do with water, be it to do with music or anything that's creative, I would love you guys to nurture your dreams and nurture your passions because that's the thing that helps us all. If we all come together as a collective and work together, we can make sure that the planet that we live in is going to sustain us and sustain future generations. So my question to you today would be, how do you plan to share what you have learned with other children in your community and encourage them to take action against climate change? Remember, when I took action against climate change, I didn't know what it is. I'd never heard about it before, and I was young. I was only about 15 or 16 years old. So that really shows us that you're never too young to lead. So please, please, I encourage you here today that since you've got this great opportunity to be part of this designer thought, please use that and tell other kids in your community to come join in on the fun. Because I tell you guys, this is quite an amazing experience to be part of, and you are very lucky to be able to access the space. So we really need to make sure that you guys take it with both hands and make sure that you do something with it. And that's all I have to say from my side. 